Today we're going to be changing out the bedroom cell fan. And yes, we do have the symphony of beeping UPSs. In fact, one of them I think is breaking. This one in here is not quite working right now, I don't think. It's still power and everything, but I don't know if I should be doing that. So I add that to the list of things to deal with. Uh, anyways, um, let's deal with this first. I'm going to keep this. Whoops. I'm going to keep this control here, but I'm going to change it such that the light will control the light on the fan. Because I'm going to put the carriage, uh, not the carriage house, the uh, St. Clair in here, and that's a bright light. So I think it'll be useful to have the, the dimer control, of course, um, lose control over that thing, but it has, you know, it, it has its own, uh, it has its own uh, control on it anyway, so it's, it's kind of irrelevant. So as we have this extra wire here, so we can do this. Um, so what we'll do, I know this was a nuisance to get all this back in here, but I have to take it all out. So what we have is, let's see what has the diagram run. This is the AC in from downstairs. So this is AC up to the fan and then this is AC up to the light. So what we'll do is we'll just take this out of here. Take this off and we'll add that black to this black so that it just has power going up there. And then we need a wire strippers, which I did not get, to connect this. Stupid flickering piece of garbage LED lights. Non flickering incandescent lights. Okay, now I have to deal with this again. I don't know why this, there's so many wires in this thing. It's, it's ridiculous.
I think I discussed this in the last video. This really should be a double gang box because there's way too much going on in here and there's two things being controlled anyways. Yeah, this is nuts. And then this barely fits in here, you know. Not too too bad. No, everything's connected correctly. Yeah, it fits in there a little bit, a little bit firm, but it's not not outrageous. This whole box is all flaky. It's not even secured to the wall very well. Whatever. Okay, so that should be that. And we need to get this fan down. I'll just put this down here for now. I'll take that apart later. put this uh, outlet thing on here because that's the kind of connection the other fan took. We're done with that. Somebody had suggested at some point to install an outlet here and then plug the fans in so it don't wear out the wiring. It's not a bad idea. I'm not worried about it in this location because this will probably be the last or second to last time I change a fan out in here anyways. Um, but Next round, I may do that. 
Uh, so we had this wire up here previously unused. I'm going to bring that down and we're going to use it now. Can't leave these things around because the dog will eat them, which is ridiculous, but that's what happens. So now we have the St. Clair. I hate bifold doors. They are so stupid and impractical. These are nice because you can put the screws in and then slide it onto the ceiling. These Hampton Bay fans, the older ones anyways, really were pretty good. Pretty easy to work with too and decent quality. So now we can just slip this on without juggling the screws. And then tighten it up. Pretty cool. This is a heavy fan. Very heavy fan. A stinking light shades weigh a ton. And a down run should have been longer. Oh well. I would have preferred a fan be down to like here. So. The 8-inch down rod I was going to cut would have been correct, but oh well. Because, it, you know, this is over the bed so we can hang low in here and it's no problem. All right, let's get these uh, connections made. I'm going to put the power back on and I'll have to deal with that UPS situation. So I think there's definitely something wrong with that one. And that one is for my, my uh, phone modem and the internet connection, so that one's kind of important. Alright, so the blue for the light, we'll go to the red for the light. The 
round, of course, it'll go to the green. And the heat just came on, which at any other time would be a welcome thing, but now yeah, it's hot up here. White goes to the white. That's a bit too long, I think. It's going to end up sticking out. Okay, so that's all our connections made. Try and stuff these back up into the into the box here. I don't care about the wires being in there, I just like the connections to be in there in case something came off and shorted out. The box is grounded. I don't know how good the grounding is on the canopy. Okay, that yeah, looks good there. I'll uh, go ahead and turn everything back on. Let's see what transpires. Hopefully no implosions or anything like that. So I'll take this down on the way down. Get rid of that stinking UPS beeping freak show. Whoops. Should be no issues. I don't expect anything to be going wrong here. It stayed on, so that's a good indicator. Oh, you know what else I'm going to want is that long bit. I usually use this one for some fans, or is it the other one? No, it's this one. This is the one I use for some fans. Okay. light is on which is to be expected so the light will just be on and off from here which is fine and then we'll have the light on the fan Yeah, 
and then the fan I'm going to change this to be on the high speed I don't know why that's so loud but probably won't be anywhere as near as loud once the blades are on all right so that's working let's put the canopy up that went up pretty easily I need to clean this, the fence, it's all dirty. And I'll get to that eventually. And there is a decorative ring that goes up on there to hide the screws. which obviously would have had to go on prior to the installation of the VN, so that's just not gonna go up. And I don't want no flipping commentary on that one. I don't care if I peep the screws, it is what it is. All right, so let's get these blades in here. blades I had some issues with they had some kind of a, a uh, I don't know how you like a haze on them almost and it was really difficult to get off I had to spend a lot of time pretty aggressively cleaning it I ended up using the uh, Windex with ammonia D on the blades which is kind of a harsh cleaner, especially for a material that you're not sure if it's really able to be used on or not. And that got it off. What the heck? Oh, that worked for the other one. I'm not sure why it didn't work for this one. But anyways, um, I was able to finally get it off using the Windex with Ammonia D, but like cheese. I don't know what that was. You know, I'm running ceiling fans over here all the time for months on end, and I never get no cloudy stuff on the blades that get coated in dust or duck dusk, as some people call it. But it it come right off, you know, with a dry cloth. Okay, this is not fitting. I don't know why that's not fitting. The screws must be smaller than usual. But anyway, so I had to spend a lot of time getting the, uh, getting that cloudy stuff off the blades, which was kind of agitating. And of course, last night when time was not of the essence, I didn't see it on the blades, you know, cause it was, it was dark out and I didn't, now this morning I went to hang it up and I'm looking at it under the light, the sunlight, and I peeped this. Oh jeez. It's been about 20 minutes cleaning the thing up. So as usual, I know this film will be an installation taking way too long. We should be uh I think we should be clear sailing at this point. Other than that, uh, that canopy thing, there's nothing really left to go wrong. OK. 
Okay. And these rubber things, I don't think are supposed to leave the motor, but they did. Yeah, these things are definitely not supposed to come off of the motor because now it's a nuisance to try and align them. There's always something when I work on selling fans. There's always some kind of a problem. It's never just a normal screw it together and it's done. There's always something that breaks or the bearings don't work or something, some part I forget. It's too bad because I really like Silver fans. I don't know why they don't like me. Okay. Let's power this on and see what happens. Start it on low in case the blades are out of balance. Very nice. A slight motor hum, but nothing major. It could be fixed with different mounting. I don't like the way the box is mounted in this room anyways. That could have something to do with it. OK. 
Okay, it's a nice slow low. Let's see if the light's working. It is. The blades look like they're pretty much in clock. Let's go to the three, which is low. Oh, I still hear the bearing. Hopefully that goes away. Bearings may just need to break in a little bit. But that's unusable the way that is. Ugh. Hopefully that'll go away. If not, then we we'll have to take it back down. I don't know what that is. It doesn't seem like that's the light. I don't know. I don't know what that other vibration noise is. That's kind of weird. Oh gosh, that's awful. Okay, <laughs> not good. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and take this back down because that's not going to work at all. I have another fan I was going to put in the computer room. I guess I'll have to put it in the bedroom. That's very disappointing. I'm not sure what's wrong with that. I haven't checked this other fan so who knows what kind of condition this other fan is in. I still have that other switch. This other fan has no light, so I'd be inclined to just put the regular switch back. Uh, I gotta find it though. Could be in here. Of course not. I don't know where it is if it's not in that box. Um, this is very agitating. In the world is, oh, you know what? They need to be right here. I can't believe that thing doesn't work. Yeah, that's why you should always check stuff before you use it, because you never know. People do weird stuff and then the things don't work right. There we go. I'll just put this stupid thing back up because I don't need that utter control. Sure would have preferred that fan, but I'll oh, just use this fan. Of course, this fan, this fan is also untested, so I have no idea if this flipping thing is going to work right or not either. I think the blades are all mangled on this. This could be another disaster. Is so loud on this fan for that's ridiculous oh 
Well, it's a shame on me. I should have checked it. Who would have thought that there would be something so wrong with it? I wouldn't have thought it. I would have thought it worked just fine. But, oh, it works horribly. Too bad, because it looked great, you know? It's a nice fan. Well, it was at some point. It's got a problem now. Okay, so we're gonna redo this wiring again. Getting sick of going into this box. Pull everything out. The only good thing is it'll fit a little bit better with that other switch than this one. Alright, so. Okay, this is the high side from the downstairs. So. What we're gonna do is we gotta take this apart. This is the yeah, echoes onto the switch. This goes up to the ceiling and the echo up to the ceiling. This become irrelevant, and this become irrelevant. Well, no, I, the ground's not irrelevant, it's still relevant. Okay, so this, line in, top and bottom. Okay, so this, this is what goes up to the um, light. So this is one point. And this is, I guess that should go on the top. Just we're not going to use this. This is the line in. Why is it all cockamame now? Uh, 
let's just redo that. So I'll bend up here. So in the slack, we'll just take it back to where it's straight. So that's everything for this. Oh, I can't believe this. What a freak show. good okay screw this back on and then put the power back on and we'll deal with the fan
Okay. I'm going to turn it on and we'll see what happens. explosion yet so that's good you already hear that flipping fan all the way down here unbelievable I don't understand why it's so loud It's working as expected. This is not. I don't know why not. I'm kind of baffled by how loud this is. Really don't know what's wrong with it. This is coming down in one piece and that's it because probably close to two hours into this project already it really shouldn't have taken more than a half I got other things to do today I truly have no idea what's wrong with this fan and after all the time I put into it, it's so frustrating. Probably not going to look at this for a long time. Just put it away and deal with it when I want to install it at the new house. Or I could, since the motor in the other one is good, I could just swap the motor and use all this, uh, use this light kit, this housing, these blades. Because the other one, none of that stuff is, is in good shape anyway. So you can make one crummy fan and one good fan. I think even the bearings are good in the other one for heaven's sakes. Is this all disconnected? Yeah. I don't usually do this. I don't recommend this, but it's coming down in one piece. And I'll disassemble it later.
This other one could be a whole disaster too because I haven't tested this one either. So we'll see. Let's see what happens. It's not stripped. I guess I'll connect that just in case I decide to tack a light onto this. I don't know how long this is going to be up here if I muster up the patience to deal with that uh, St. Clair again. I may change it. But I'm not sure I'm going to do that anytime soon. that now this one the bearings are not a hundred percent but I spun it up at about the speed it would run at and it seemed to be relatively quiet so hopefully they're okay but who knows if this got bad bearings, I forgot to connect this, so now we're just not going to. I don't think I'll put a light on it. If this had bad bearings, too bad. I'm not taking it down. I only do two fans, a, two fan tries at a time. What a joke. Don't have a uh, ground connection, so I don't know, whatever. It's just not grounded. Okay. I'll just like make sure the ground wire is contacting the rod or something. Whatever. That's not great, but it'll have to do. Because that's all we have. Oh, that's going to hold without screwing it in. That's fine with me. Perfectly fine by me. Okay. You're gonna hear bearing noise. Huh, I guess you're not. There it goes. Actually, it's not that bad. This seems kind of loose. Oh, what the heck?
went loose. Oh, it's just a switch housing, I guess. I don't know if it falls or falls as a lightweight fan. Okay, let's get this downstairs. I'll bring up the blades for the other one. Yep, I don't like this at all, but I'll deal with it later. Great. This is such a nice fan. I'm really disappointed I can't use it. to get chipped or oh, to put on the carpet. Okay. Should be okay like that. Alright, now these irons I think are out of alignment. So this could be a thriller of a project here have all sorts of wobbling issues. I mean I usually only use the fan in there on low so if it's out of whack it's not really a big deal. And a computer room fan I run that on high so that's got to be lined up correctly but if this one is all mangled eh, whatever. This is a nice fan too, but don't compare to that one. Now these screws want that bigger bit, which of course is now downstairs.
Oh, the blades don't look crazy so far. Maybe they're not too bad. Oh, actually, they look okay. Of course, just the slightest issue could throw it way out of whack, but hopefully there's nothing major. Okay, and the blades are totally out of whack. This one here, oh man, that's way off. I'm gonna have to try to fix that. The problem with this is that I know I can't replace these irons, I've tried. They're a weird size. That's, that's way out too. Okay. It's not too bad. It's got a little bit too much pitch to it. Maybe I can tone it down a little bit. These two are out of clock. This one's up too high. Let's just see how bad it is. Yep, that's unusable. Oh my gosh. It's nice and quiet though. But you can't have it like that. It's, it's gonna like come loose or something. Well, this is a total fail too. I can't get this in line. I've been trying to get this in line for over an hour, and it's just it's so far out of whack. The it's it's not even a matter of height, which is also wrong, but the the blades, the the spacing between the blades is all screwed up and that's really difficult to fix. I have to take it apart and measure it and try to figure it out. This is a fail too. You can't use it like this. This is going to wear out the wiring. I don't have any other fans ready to go so I don't know what I'm going to do. This is blowing the whole morning at this point so I guess I just have no functional fan in the bedroom at this point. I was going to try to do them both today. Good thing I didn't touch this one. Only one that flipping works.